Hey everybody, welcome to Brothers Forge Gaming. I'm Easy, and it's time for an easy play. Today we're doing Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu on the NES. This is a game I picked up a couple years ago from a show, and I just really haven't got around to playing through it. I saw, actually, back in the day, Gamer had played through it at the beginning of this year, so I really wanted to, you know, jump into it, try my hand. It's a Hudson Soft game. I've always really enjoyed titles from them. Uh, and it is a lot of fun. I, I did finally get all the way through. I had a couple of deaths and, you know, found a few things. But I ultimately want to step up my game for this playthrough and give you guys a good show. So I would like to do better than I did last time. I would like to no death it, but I will take two deaths or less. Uh, so I'm shooting for that for this recording. The other thing is, is I would like to beat it within 30 minutes. I think it took me right around that last time. So I'd like to kind of improve my speed so I'm not going to dilly-dally uh, and waste time. The other thing is, is I have found four, four or five of the bonus worlds, and I just want to keep finding as many of those as I can to show them off. It's always fun to see those. So I'm at least going to try to hit all five of the ones I've already found and you know see if I can uncover some more. So, without wasting any more time, let's jump in to Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. <laughs> fun animations, fun controls, uh, fun music. Definitely, definitely a winner in my book. The game's got a little bit of a price tag, but ultimately I don't think it's breaking banks or anything yet. So, definitely still one of those games to, to look for. You always want to be, see the, those are the bonus worlds, the little uh, bells that come up, so look for those. Yeah, I think you have to jump, or you just have to be in the right spot to proc them, so. Um, you know, remember to pay attention to the ones I show you, and then you can look for, I'm sure there's a few other ones. And a lot of them are different uh, games. I think I've uncovered four different style bonus levels, so that's pretty cool. And if you can manage to get them all, you get the fireworks, and you get the points. Uh, this will give you two continues or free guys. Basically, each each playthrough is only one life, so every guy is a continue, you know, in that sense. So basically, the only way to do this in one credit, basically, it's just like no death, one guy, which is what we're going for, but. <clears throat> You know, easier said than done, right? Traditional, too, like a lot of games, you use your, uh... Your special little kick thing or whatever item that you have at the time is your uh, up, up B, and then your uh, charge shot is, you know, hold, hold B. <clears throat> so I can demonstrate them both. I think the boss is coming up here, so... That's right. This is a this is a fun one. 
I think this is, yeah, this, oh no, this is the new one that I've been finding. This one's tough, I, I messed it up last time. You gotta... There we go. You definitely have to get in the rhythm. Uh, let's see that happened last time. See that? That sh I should be able to get it. I, these I normally these I just started finding out, so it's pretty cool. I should be able to jam in. Yeah, two more continues. I think it would fill up your life and stuff. That one. For longevity for a new player or something, that is definitely... Those are the... You want to get those two bonuses right there. That'll set you up, basically, to uh, help you win. Ah. I thought I might have short jumped that. Give me some life. Ho! Fight number two. Or wait, no, this is boss fight number one. <laughs> I think I'm faster than I really am. Nice. Uh, fix this light real quick. Why? That was tweaking out, but quick fix. There we go. Back in the action. Action Kung Fu. So there's just a few spots uh, that will, for my no death. Alright, I guess, see I didn't want to waste it because I haven't taken any life, but I'll get my, uh, my little fire things back. Start working towards my next round. Ah. So good. Gotta do the Jackie dance, I call it. These things will fall apart if you're not, if you stand still, so. Can actually be tricky. I mean, I, I wouldn't imagine you know, you losing all your lives, but if you only had like one health point, when I first got here, I got here with like one or two health, so it became really crucial. But 
very crucial to, uh, you know, be able to get through there with no damage. This is the guy who always almost, he gets me, he drops these icicles on you. And I always take damage there, and it ends up costing me a lot on this level for some reason. So, like, we have another cool... I think there's another cool bonus coming up. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't already miss it. Uh-oh. Ah, you son of a gun. See, actually, that's where I <laughs> almost get to the boss uh, every time, and then I I choke and die right there. That's one of my most common spots to die. closer than I wanted it to be, that is for sure. But still working on my no death right now, so that uh, makes me happy, because that's usually that's like a random spot that I die. I, I have not... Those red turtles are just jerks. I don't believe you can jump on them. It, they make you believe you can, but... I say it is fictitious. So this is another level. You'll you'll learn. This might be one of the. At least you don't die when you fall down. But it might be one of the ones that takes a minute uh, and a little bit of practice because you just have to learn the shells. There's certain ones. You know, once you start going fast, that you have to wait for them to move, or there's some that just, you know, stop and fall. So you learn all that stuff, and then eventually you'll be able to just kind of speed through. This one right here is actually always one of the big ones, because you have to... Do the whole wait, jump, watch for the turtle, get hit. I get hit, I think, every time from that. So if I can make it, there should be a bell. Oh, maybe it was 
all the way down here. There we go. I knew it was coming up. the third one it's easy you just really gotta focus and get on it right away if you get behind this one will be basically screwed it's like Arkanoid and if the balls start getting you know bouncing around losing tiles it's tough tough to recover so just stay on it from the beginning It actually kind of teaches you, it's like the Karate Kid, you know, wax on, wax off. It shows you good tactics, like how to fight the guys. Uh, the last boss is a guy that you need to, like, move back and forth, uh, similar to that. So, it's interesting they do that. Man, 11 continues? That's, that's wild. I'm really... <laughs> I'm stomping this round. Oh, come on, that fish shouldn't be able to come on water. I am calling all sorts of shenanigans on that. Damn it, it gave me this stupid thing again. So, actually, I used that a lot better that time. That was pretty useful. This is the cool, there's like this fish punching one I really wanted to get to. <laughs> that 
was rough. So, I missed, or maybe this is it. Nope, so I missed one, but I found another one, so that's cool. Except for I already messed that up. Take it, as long as it gives me full life. Oh, I had some leftover points, it looks like, which is cool from my other bonuses. So that's giving me uh, even more of this outrageousness. Keeping me very full, though. Super crucial for that moment, because I was kind of down to my last, you know. I was getting down to my last hurrahs. <laughs> is pretty easy actually I don't I mean most of the bosses are pretty easy except for the final boss he is by far the hardest but if you get him in a good rhythm which I'm hoping I do right now uh, you know he ain't so bad either I'm in a pretty good spot at 20 uh, 22 23 should be able to get my dragon ball power stuff up here
probably a bonus uh, world in there, but I guess today is not that day. I probably got through there. For some reason, I usually just take a little bit of damage one one way or another, but... Oh, come on. Nice. Or is this the fish one? No, this is the... Uh, so I missed, I missed the one different bonus that I, I have gotten before, but I got a nice slew of bonuses this time, so... Definitely that should show you what you need to keep going in this game, especially this late uh, in the rounds. That's pretty nice because this is the last stage basically, so I mean, we've got one more section to go and then like the boss fight and then the final boss fight, so the final boss fight is actually might be the easiest fight in the game, so don't stress out. Looks like we're doing decent on time, too. Uh, even with all the bonuses and all the stuff, we are rocking right along. I'm really going to try to suck it up and play clean here, though. I've got my... Let's not jinx it, but i got the no death still going, so... Not break that right now. Not bad, I think I get some more right here, so not a bad time to use those. Uh, yeah. Basically this is going to be life management, um, beating these sections with taking the, uh, the least amount of damage that you can. Ultimately, you don't want to use your resources, you want all of those for the final boss. If you follow my examples here, you should be able to uh, use these mechanics. Might take a second to learn them, but... This will be the trickiest one. Uh, you, you, you know, as long as you have a few hits, it's not so bad. Ah, oh, don't do that. Damn, not the best performance. I didn't mean to use that kick. 
Uh, I knew I was going to get a little bit of life there, but so now we're going to go fight the final boss. Let's hopefully uh, he doesn't catch me in the bad mechanics and I catch him in the good mechanics. It's all down to me right here. That was the fucking bad mechanic. Oh my god. Would have liked to be a little bit better set up, but should be okay. A little closer than I wanted it to be right there, but... Yay, princess! So apparently whatever this evil, that evil, like, balloon thing was that was floating down here is the, uh, ultimate bad guy. And it is, like, the easiest thing I have ever, like, played. And just like that, folks, you got yourself some Jacket Chan. Well, I did have that one little snafu uh, on the boss. That's a bummer. I guess that gives me something to shoot for, though. One little niche away from a no-death run. That was pretty quick, though. Showed you pretty much how to play the game. A lot of the bonus levels. I say, pretty good game. Pick it up. Go play it. Run through. Like I said, it gives you, you know, you can keep playing it until you get those no deaths. Uh, you know, improve those speeds and stuff like that. And even look for all the secrets. So there's a lot of playthrough value on Jackie Chan. You know, so it might be worth that. The, the few extra dollars you have to spend for it. But Thanks for hanging out with Brothers Forge Gaming. Thanks for watching an easy play with your man easy. Oh, it's always fun to do this. You know, like, comment, subscribe. 
you know, keep checking back. We're always coming out with new stuff. Basically, you know, daily, at least a couple times a week, we're getting some stuff out there. So, hope you guys enjoy these credits, and we will catch you next time on Brothers Forge Gaming. I got danced the last time I finished the game. I feel like I just beat something else actually recently. As I was hanging out during the credits. <laughs> Jackie Chan. That no death eluded me. Not so no death. What do, what, what do you call this one? Just uh, a nice complete run. Adds that little bit of time on there too. Hopefully I met my 30 minute mark. But we'll see. I, I think I made all my marks. I found more bonuses. I think that I probably beat it in the, the amount of time I allotted myself. And, uh, and what did I say? I wanted to do better than last time, so one death is better than two. What to play next? Leave your comments. We got, we're 28 games away from the NES library. Drop a comment if you see this and there's a game you want us to play. Look for it. See you next time.